Hello everyone. Let's provide a solution to this problem. Y to the power of 3 plus Y to the power of 2 equals to 12. Remember that we are going to provide a complete solution to this. From here we have Y to the power of 3 minus okay plus y to the power of 2 minus 12 equals to 0 what i've done is bringing out or bringing 12 to the left hand side now y to the power of 3 plus y to the power of 2 minus open bracket 12 is 8 plus 2 right or 8 plus 4 it's 8 plus plus 4 and that will be equal to 0 if I continue with this then y to the power of 3 plus y to the power of 2 minus 8 minus 4 is equal to 0 because I need to open the bracket with the negative over there right okay and then from here y to the power of 3 plus y to the power of 2 minus 2 to the power of 3 minus 2 to the power of 2 is equal to 0. I am doing this because I have y to the power of 3 and y to the power of 2. So I have to make them have the same powers and the same basis as what I had in terms of y. Okay? And then if we continue, we will regroup so that we have y to the power of 3 minus 2 to the power of 3 then plus y to the power of 2 minus 2 to the power of 2 equal to 0 now what do i do i can group it like this and then group it like this so that when i deal with this i will apply this standard a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3 equal to a minus b and then i have a squared plus a b plus um b squared right this is the standard and then our a now is y and our b is 2 so in place of a minus b then i have y minus 2 and then in the second bracket I have y squared plus ab will be y times 2 which is 2y then plus 2 squared right because of the b squared close this then plus now in this bracket we are having difference of two squares and I will apply that immediately so that we have y to the power of 2 sorry there's no power again since we are applying difference of two squares y plus 2 into y minus 2 equal to 0 this is me applying the difference of two squares and then by looking at the factors we have here <clears throat> there's a common factor which is y minus 2 so write it out as your common factor right then here we have y to the power of 2 plus 2y plus 4 that is 2 squared close that plus what will be here now is um okay i have to open brackets for this what will be here now is um y plus 2 close this and everything is equal to zero now that i brought out the common factor I can now multiply what I have or put them together since it's addition over here, right? Okay, remember it was like this. Now I can now add them. So I get y minus 2, the common factor, then into y squared. Then 2y plus y will give plus 3y. Then um, 4 plus 2 will give um, 6 close that and everything is equal to zero now i'm going to apply zero product rule for these two factors let's go there 
okay so this is what we have and then meaning that y minus 2 is either equal to 0 or y squared plus 3y plus 6 is equal to 0 but remember that we'll deal with this one after the other so y minus 2 equals 0 meaning that y is equal to 0 plus 2 and that y is equal to 2 this is the first value of y and we can call this our y1 to get the other values of y okay sorry about that to get the other values of y we will go to this quadratic equation where we have y to the power of 2 plus 3y plus 6 equal to 0 and then we will solve this using the formula method the formula is y equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac and the whole of this is over 2a and then this means that y is equal to minus b now becomes minus 3 because y um, the coefficient of y is b which is 3 right minus 3 plus or minus b is still 3 so we have 3 squared minus 4 a is 1 the coefficient of y squared so multiply by 1 then multiply by c which is 6 the constant then this will be all over 2 times 1 okay all over 2 times 1 let's continue so from here y will be equal to minus 3 plus or minus we have 9 minus 24 right okay and the whole of this is over 2 if we continue y will be equal to minus 3 plus or minus 9 minus 20 9 minus 24 will give us negative 15 that is for 9 minus 24 and this will be over 2 okay so this means that our y is equal to minus 3 plus or minus i square root of 15 okay so to iron out the negative there you have an imaginary number okay which is i and then over 2 then what do we do we can split it so that y will be equal to minus 3 plus i root 15 over 2 or minus 3 minus i root 15 over 2 so from here we have two more solutions now i want to bring the three solutions together very quickly the first one is um y1 which is um which is 2 okay we got 2 then our y2 now will be minus 3 plus i root 15 and this is over 2 and then y3 is minus 3 minus i root 15 over 2 so these are the three values of um, y sorry let me place it well so these are the three values of y thank you for watching